Hello and happy Thursday. Welcome to another live stream. I'm looking forward to hanging out with all of you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am still working on the Lady Death cover and right now I finally <laughs> finished inking the um, alternate outfit. So um, I usually start the coloring on the alternate outfit. It's just um, a little easier for me to then switch it to the regular outfit. Um, so it took me so long to ink the, all these little details and get her outfit correct. So um, I did not, so I did the inking of that and the uh, flatting for this version yesterday. And so now I've started really trying to get a lot of the coloring done today and um, figure all of that out. So I'm not done yet, but I can keep working on this one with you guys, which I'm really excited to do. Um, so I haven't done the coloring of her outfit cage situation yet, but I'll be doing that. I'll be keep working on the background and you know there's there's plenty to do peter hello all is very well it's just very hot <laughs> jeff troy bobby philip fred hello no ac in my house either fred i feel your pain audio volume is a little low well it's at what it usually is it could be my fans are causing some issues Luis, hello! Emmanuel, welcome to the stream! Keeman, hi! Alright, so um, as a little refresher, I am working for Coffin Comics right now. I am working on a Lady Death cover. So there are two versions to draw and color, where I change her outfit and I change some of the color scheme. I'm not going to change the background color scheme on this one between the two, but I'm going to change everything in the foreground. Um, and let's see, what else? Uh, yes, I'm working on a Wacom Cintiq. It's a uh, big monitor that I can draw on. So it has, it's like a little bit like an easel. Um, and then I have a stylus that I'm working with. Thank you, Troy. You're loud and clear minus the fan hum. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Eric. That is so kind of you to say thank you. I am honored. My mail call with your Naughty Pumpkin Queen cover I rescued is posted in Sword Nation. Nice! I'm so glad you got one, Baron. Devin, hello! Happy Thursday! Alright, so um, I have a few of these things in their own layers, but I'm working on the skulls right now. Um, and I am aware that the, right now the cover is a little dark. I do need to bring some light in there. I need Lady Death's skin to have more of a glow. There's a lot to do. Probably mixing with your fan hum. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Apologies about the fans. It's extremely hot. Um, and we live in Canada where, you know, 99% of the time it's quite cold. And so... Um, AC is not super common here. I mean, I think more places are starting to do it now. Central heating is more important here <laughs> and um, keeping the warm air in. So houses are not very good at being cooled down from my observation of Canada. <laughs> I know, it really is hot. Juan, hello. <clears throat> yes, Jeff, I tried the ice packs. They were awesome. They lasted not very long at all. <laughs> so I don't have any ice packs here right now. Carmen, hello, love. Welcome to the stream. Because it's so hot, I am going to be drinking water a lot. Uh, I apologize for the water breaks, but damn, it's really hot. It was a very good idea though, Jeff. So I piled them all up and then they were melted. And I have really good like gel ice packs. So I was really, um, I was surprised they didn't last very long, but I guess I shouldn't be, it's so hot. Here in Florida right now, it's moisture and rain. My AC almost breaks, yeah, cause it's so humid. Oh, 
Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, what I would like to do with this cover is the, um, thank you, Carmen. Ron, hello. Um, so what I would like to do with this cover and my plan for it is that there is that yellow light behind her head. So that's going to be casting a very warm light onto the upper right hand side of the cover and then as the the throne and the cloth and our eyes <laughs> move away from there i'm bringing in a blue side light to kind of bring in some cool so i want that blue to go all the way down all around the base um, i hadn't come up with the blue color yet when i started doing these skulls over here but i am going to change this one to uh, the blue tone so um, and probably some of these here too I'll start bringing in that blue so that we have the the contrast of hot and cold colors um, and then I'm going to be putting blue along the side of the cloth and all of that David Ray hello Jin hello and welcome I did put them behind the fan Jeff so the first time I did them in front of the fan, and then I'm like, wait a minute, no, actually Vienna said, you need to put them behind the fan. So that's what I did. <clears throat> All right. So let's get to work. So down here, under where the layer where it says background, I have a bunch of other things, and what they are is they're like <clears throat> quick grabs for me. So like all the stone flats are on one layer. Of course I have them on all together on the patch flats, but I've got them here on their own as well, because then I can just press control and click on the little thumbnail, and there, the whole thing is selected, and that saves me so much time for all of the, you know, reselecting, oh, I need to change something, and then I have to go and select in between all the hair and all around, and it's just, I've found that accumulatively, uh, that cuts out, or that cuts in hours of my time, just selecting everything and then reselecting it. So this cover really isn't so bad, but some other ones where it's like, the hair is blowing all over the place and there's all these little breaks in the hair. Oh my God, it takes forever to reselect it. So that's why I've started doing that. You will not be building something. <laughs> Eddie, hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to patch colors, hide my selection, and I'm gonna start bringing some blue into the side uh, light of the skull. So I'm just going to turn it up to 100%. Uh, I know you guys can't see this part, but I'm taking the hardness of this brush and making it pretty intense because we're going to start bringing in some cold into the skulls on this side. So here I'm putting some cold light in there, some cold light over here. And my, uh, I did a lot of black ink for this throne. Um, I may actually uh, get rid of some of the black by painting over it just in a layer on top of the line art. Um, just in case I want to put a highlight where there's no space for me to put a highlight, I have that um, liberty and freedom to, to go ahead and add that afterwards. So I may I may do that as well. Thank you so much, Chris Kunzi, for the follow on Twitch. No, you didn't mi miss a pe uh, peak of the other version. I'm not uh, done with that one. I'm starting coloring on this one, so um, there has been no progress. Okay, so I'm bringing some cooler light into the sides of these skulls here, just so I can start tying the room together. <laughs> yeah, so we want some cool light, some warm light. The warm light, as it gets closer to the sun element on this, they, uh, the stone will start picking up that warmer light.
Yes, her braid is gone. That didn't, um, that didn't pass uh, final sketch approval. Good evening, Jeff Martin. Welcome to the stream today. Okay, I'm just going to lighten this up for this side. And what I've done, um, my general plan is to make this uh, throne look like obsidian. And so this is like a raw, non-polished piece of obsidian, and that's what I'm going for. So I have this here as reference, and I will do my best to emulate that. Leslie, hello! Welcome to the stream! I liked the braid a lot, but I love this dramatic hair flip part thing you've got going on. Thank you, Carmen. So just getting a few more highlights in here. And then I might need to switch to, um, to a layer on top and just create a new layer for getting the, the stone highlights that I need. And being able to um, not be completely constrained by the line art. So I usually don't... Um, I usually don't even uh, do the black ink until the very end for this reason. It really gets in my way. <laughs> um, on a whim, I decided to put all the blacking in this time. I don't know if that was my best decision, but you know, we'll work with it. So now I've gone to a warmer uh, yellowish white right now. And I'm getting a few more highlights put in. Happy Canada Day to you guys, too. Nicole, thank you. Thank you, Beth King. I'm so happy you like it.
Sebastian, hola. Hootie Quill, hello, hello. I assume this will be featured in the next Kickstarter. I honestly don't know uh, where this will be featured. That's up to Brian and it happens. Uh, those decisions are not made with me involved. <laughs> Usually it'll be a surprise for all of us. Thank you, Beth. That means a ton. All right, I think they're probably going to need even more highlights than this so they actually show up. Um, but I will just switch it to the blue now and try to get a few more bright highlights here. And I'll, uh, it's just going to take, you know, a few stages, I would say, for me to get this right. Pretty soon I'm gonna I'm gonna move to a layer above so that I can have a little bit more freedom to do this and add add highlights where I feel they're needed even if I didn't kind of plan that in in the inks the inks are getting in my way <laughs> fair enough I'll buy it whenever it pops up yay thank you Ron this fan is blowing directly into my eyes and it is making my eyes water sorry everyone moving the fan all right <laughs> thank you hoodie cool thank you Travis I'm so glad that you like the um, the outfit that is awesome all right well the skulls are slowly starting to take form and pop out from the background which is awesome um, I'm gonna now make myself a new layer and I'm just going to, let's see, I'll call it Skull. Yeah, Devin, it's character specific with uh, which ones are topless and which ones aren't. And the, yeah, it has to do with the character. Sorry, Summer. Jason, hello. Oh, thank you for thinking it's a lot of progress since last stream. <laughs> I've been a little, like, bummed at myself. Um, but, you know, what matters is that I get this done right. So that's really what I'm focusing on, and I'm not going to freak out that, you know, I feel I should have gotten more finished by now, which is typical for me. I will always feel that way. <laughs> now I'm uh, actually pulling out some of the um, I'm getting rid of some of the black so that I can go in now with um, my brush and add highlights where I felt the black was kind of making it impossible for me to do so This is why I don't usually ink my covers. Like, if there's a, a character who has a black outfit, I won't ink that until I've actually finished coloring it, and then I'll ink that piece so that I have it blank for coloring. Yeah, for sure, Nicole. I hear you, Jen. I, I feel the same way. I always feel like I should be getting more done. I should be accomplishing more. You know, I think that's just par for the course. <laughs>
That's the life of the artist. <laughs> My goodness, Baron, that's that's hilarious. You are really uh, multitasking times, what is it, three, four? <laughs> Uh, my deadline for this one is, uh, I, I set my deadline on this one, and I'm going to try to have it done by um, Monday. So Sunday night, I'm hoping to be finished. River Dragon, hello! Oh, thank you, Philip, for calling up the print of the month. Yeah. This month, I have two prints as the print of the month, and they are my cat fight covers. So those are on my website, and today is the final day of Sabine Wren. So if you want to get Sabine Wren, uh, definitely grab her today, or she's going to be tucked away until next year. She will be available for two weeks only. So um, if you're planning on getting it, now is the time. turn the opacity down a little bit and just do a little shading in a few places so that it's not quite so stark. For a split second I thought you were going to say Sabine Rich. <laughs> really digging the throne design. Thank you, Ron. Yes, then I'm back to Divinica, and also my kids are on summer break, so I am not trying to just be deadlines, 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 like I have been for the last 10 years, so I'm really trying to actually um, not be stressed out this summer. <laughs> Thank you, River. That is so awesome. Does Laura provide taxi duty so you can work? No. <laughs> My kids prefer to stay in the house, honestly, so it's mostly me trying to make sure nobody is too bored in the house. Okay. I'm gonna see about maybe a little bit more shadows over here. I should know better than to wait until the last day. Oh, it's totally fine. At least we have the double dip day where you can toggle between two months and get the two prints, whatever is newly launched and whatever is being uh, turned off tonight. So yay. It's really honestly kind of smart to wait. <laughs> Alright, um, let's get a little bit more highlights over here, so I'm just switching to the brown 
ish color that I've got going on. Hello. I'm getting glare on my screen, which is making my life a little bit difficult. I might turn down the light here just one second. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Just trying to turn off this light a little bit. Hello, Jessica. Um, I don't know when this will be available. Um, it's for Coffin Comics though, so once they, um, I'm guessing it'll be in a Kickstarter. Thank you, love. I'm so glad you're going to keep an eye out for it. That means a ton. Azatonian, welcome to the stream. Your prints are due to arrive tomorrow, Monday for sure at the latest. Awesome! Yay! Sai Art, welcome to the stream today. Okay, I'm going to take that down a little bit. Just going to shade that in. I want her hair to pop from the, the throne, so I'm just darkening up behind her a little bit. Ozback, hello! Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Darken that up a little bit. No, this is not my original character. I am working for uh, a company called Coffin Comics right now, and it is their original character. So I'm a uh, comic book artist, and I do covers for this company frequently. Um, and that's what I'm working on right now. She is created by uh, Brian Polito. I think there's one more Lady Death Kickstarter before the whole Lady Death versus Hell Witch Wargasm. Ooh, cool! See, I didn't even know that. What was the inspiration for the outfit and the eyeshadow on this one? Uh, my inspiration for the outfit honestly was three things and a little random. <laughs> So I was looking uh, and I saw some like modern art couches that were made of pipes and then the, the cushioning was kind of shoved all in the pipes and I was like that's an interesting thing and then I was a friend of a friend is a 3D pipe designer and so I was talking with him th about that the other day and um, I was really inspired by how he builds these 3D designs for like a full schematic of piping for, you know, companies and factories and stuff like that. And then um, the, the background scribble thing that I did here, uh, I'll show you my sketch. I'll just turn that up. So there's my sketch. And so this whole random situation that I made for the background, that weird kind of pixelated and strange. Anyway, um, so that this clock style background thing I was inspired by as well and I kind of mushed all of that together to make clothing. <laughs> Tom, hello! Random Dawn inspiration is random. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Rob, welcome to the stream by the way. 
next month is annihilation and then it's orgasm. Oh, for some reason I thought that next month was was the orgasm one. So when is the so the Lady Death versus Hell Witch is the orgasm one and that's happening later? Does anybody know what chapter is next? I have a question if you don't mind. It's about Photoshop CS6. If you could help me, that would be great. I am not using CS6. I'm using CC, but I can try. <laughs> My pleasure, Ron. No, where was I? I was on Skull Highlights. Okay. So I'm happy with the skull highlights down here, and I feel that the rest needs to look like that. Orgasm has to be the funnest title ever. <laughs> Chapter 14 is next. Ah. Okay, well, I believe that I... This is not for Chapter 14. Okay, hey Don, are you coloring this alternate version first or did you finish the other version with her shoulder spike already? Um, oh, see you later, Peter. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I started getting some of the color plan done on the other one. To be perfectly honest, you guys, my rule of thumb is I always start with the naughty slash risque slash topless version first because uh, then I can paint the skin in full. Lady Death is a little bit of a different story, and especially this one, because actually there's more outfit on this one than on the main version. Not as covered, but, you know, there's more detail and shit on the alternate version. So I was very, very confused as far as what to do. <laughs> Truth be told and I went back and forth and I was like, okay I'm gonna start on the main version and then no, I'm gonna do the alternate version So the plan I came up with is I did this. I'll show you guys. I Actually Got all of her skin done in one shot. So I'll show you that let me turn off the metal So this is the line art, right? And what I did is once I finished doing the line out, which took four fucking ever, I will have you know, color, drawing that, this design thing, inking it, and then color, uh, f doing the flats for it and everything took me so much longer than usual. Oh my God. All right. So then I painted the skin in full as if there were no clothes so that I can take this and use it for the main version as well. Then I did a skin overlay that kind of I do for Lady Death. It makes her skin glow a little bit more. And then all of these elements are all on their own layer. <laughs> Took me a while to figure that out. Was there wasted time? I'm sure. <laughs> My neck hurts just by looking at how much weight is being supported by those straps, right? Hanusol, hello. Basically, I was drawing the other day and my foreground and background colors randomly flipped. Can you just move the layer? That might be what it is. <laughs> Juan is back. You know, if you, if you, Move the layer on the layer th properties on the side right here where you see all the layers. Um, I, I don't know. Like, maybe that's a too simplistic of a fix, but that could be it.
I feel like she has back problems. I know it's a little small for you guys. I just, um, I need to take the piece in as a whole and see if I'm going in the right direction. Oh my God, yes. The Ebass Red Sonia is kick ass. That is so good. <laughs> Saw that, it was just like, oh my God. Hashtag goals, man. One of these days. like polka dots. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing is just amazing. Spill the beans on the ash smoke eyes. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Somebody did ask that and I forgot. Um, that's just Dawn being artsy and shit. <laughs> I felt like it, so I did it. <laughs> um, yeah, that has nothing to do with the storyline. That is just me going on some sort of, you know, artsy tangent. Yeah, the re it's it's fucking badass, Ron. Almost seems criminal if this image doesn't get printed out as a metal cover whenever Coffin releases it. Aw, oh, thank you. your soul. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> um, for this one, what I want to do is add like gold, like metallic shiny gold particles on her eyeshadows. On her eyeshadows. Where the fuck do I come up with words like that? Her eyeshadows. I literally can't English. For her eyeshadow, I would like to make it gold flecky situation. I just haven't gotten there yet. And then there's just going to be some heavy black makeup involved, and yeah, I'm loving this whole situation. <laughs> I know, Philip, I'm so excited about that paper. Um, Dan said I had a, an aggressive amount of phrasing in my email, so I'm expecting to get shipped for that today. I didn't notice it until I was already done with the email, but Dan said that phrasing was gold and you guys were going to go 
uh, give me much shit for it. <laughs> Santa Bomb, hello! Honestly, with the throne, I feel this would be an amazing holofoil. Thanks, guys! I don't know why, but Lady Death reminds me of an ancient Egyptian queen here. Nice! Can't wait to see the new paper. Oh, yes. Unnamed Gent, hello! Good to see you, too! To be fair, those are words, just not terms you wanted. <laughs> they are words. That's that's progress, right, Devin? Are the skulls she's sitting on her throne? No, it's just Lady Death's aesthetic is skulls. Um, I didn't know that Eric did. I'm I'm sure I've seen it at some point that Eric did that. Um, not intentionally. <laughs> not intentionally swiping from the sensei. Um, no, it's just, that is a very common Lady Death aesthetic. I mean, to put Lady Death with skulls <laughs> in any scenario is appropriate. Um, so that's kind of more what it is than anything else. Like, Hell Witch, I made her a throne that was a little bit more antlery and tusky, but for Lady Death, you know, pretty much that is what you do. Dawn's aggression makes me spit out my drink and laugh while reading emails. Really? <laughs> what aggression? When am I aggressive? That is cor correct, unnamed gent. And, and that's just for some covers. For a lot of things, like, when I get back to Divinica, the whole thing is traditional. Except for the, the, the layout of the entire comic book. Like, I'll do a rough scribble for the whole book, and that I do on the computer. So Hellwitch got, she absolutely did. That one's been out for a while, though. That one I did in 2018, I think. Appropriate for Hell Witch. Yes, I think so. That's why I did it. <laughs> I have become bored of the skulls, so we're going to do a quick save and then I'm going to move on to something else. I'll come back to the skulls when I feel that I'm not going to start rushing it and doing a shitty job. That's really why I bump around and I'm like, you know, I'm bored, I'm moving on. It's because I can sense that I'm starting to rush through the details and so that's why I stop and move on to something else so that I can come back and not, you know, rush it and start doing a shitty job. Oh, I see, J. Allen. Ebass did a piece where the arms of her chairs were visible and were skulls, but you can't see the actual seat or the backrest. That's why the skulls look like it's your idea. <laughs> no, it's really just a Lady Death aesthetic. Like, you know, if you're going to make Lady Death a, uh, a throne, it should probably be made out of skulls. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wait, what Havlitch cover was that? Uh, it's Hell Witch on a throne, she's sideways, um, does anybody know when that, I mean, it was released sometime in 2018, right? Adam Paul Roberts, hello! I'm not trying to, like, call you by your full name. <laughs> You're not in trouble. I, uh, just, you know, not thinking read your whole name. Don overthinking. Five, four, three. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Iron Twitch, hello. Alright. So I've been me <laughs> laziness struck me hard, people. <laughs> I kind of didn't draw anything in the little triangle right here. <laughs> Behind her leg. Um, and, you know, it's honestly because I, it was laziness, but also I couldn't make up my mind. 
So now I have a situation and I need to draw some skulls there. I just didn't want it to distract from her and put like a weird peekaboo skull right there. But I'm probably just going to do like the back of a couple skulls or something. <laughs> so right now there's, there's this little situation. It's the we won't know a triangle. Or I don't know what we're going to call that triangle, but it's something and it's unfortunate and it is a eyesore in my opinion. So that triangle is going to need some fixing and some love. <laughs> I go traditional to digital, but sometimes I migrate over to digital while it's still in pencil when I get frustrated that it doesn't look right and I get tired of erasing. Oh, you do not suck, unnamed gent. I did that. I recently had to keep going back to the computer to flip it, shrink things, enlarge things. It was really intense and frustrating because um, it was just, honestly, I picked a cover design and a cover style and layout and format that Truth be told, because I struggled so hard, I think it was above my skill level. Like I was reaching pretty hard. <laughs> and so I had to keep going back to the computer because I'd draw the head too big and then I would sketch it out and the bodies weren't aligning correctly. It was, I have to say to this day, compositionally the most complicated cover I have ever done. It's not out yet, but it's the Lady Death versus Hell Witch cover that nearly finished me. There were a couple points where Dan and I were seriously talking about maybe this is just too hard and we should simplify the whole idea, you know? Um, and because it was an idea that I submitted to Coffin Comics, I'm, it's kind of on me <laughs> that I should pull it off, right? Um, and so it was, it was a rough one. All right, Hanusol put the link let me see. I'm just getting the link to take a look at what Hanu Soul sent and see if it's the right Hell Witch cover. Enter. It's loading, loading, loading. What? I need to switch. Fine. Yes, that is the correct cover. 100%. All right, so worth it, yes. I'm really glad I, um, I stuck at it and was like, I can do this. But it was definitely above my skill level, I would say. And, you know, all I'm trying to say is, unnamed gent, you do not suck. That is, you know, we should, we're all, I think, we as artists in this day and age should be grateful for the technology that is at our disposal, you know? Um, we don't in the in we don't necessarily think about it this way but like even way back in like Renaissance times artists would you know the the whole way of working was different but they did have their you know models that would just hang out <laughs> and pose for them you know we don't have that but we have other things well maybe some people do have dedicated models that pose for them I don't know but if you've got those opportunities, you might as well use it. Whatever can up expedite the process, in my opinion. I am working on Canada Day. Oh, unnamed gent says, head too big. Are you saying chibi head lady death wouldn't be taken seriously? That's not what I'm saying. It's just my art style here, at least the style that I do for comic art is, um, it's, it's not realistic by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a little bit more realistic than say manga style or, um, you know, cartoon style. So I don't have as much uh, room for error as other styles do. Like cartoon, you can have the head a little too big, you can have the head a little bit too small. It's fine, it's the style. In, what, in how I work, I feel that my, my room for error is, is <laughs> smaller. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. The owner of that OA hits me up. Oh, interesting, Jason. 
May I suggest add back of skulls and just a piece of cloth? I at least have one version of that. I am not planning a TikTok account. I was talking to my teenagers about it and they said that no. I am not the right age for TikTok. <laughs> It's progress. Thank you, Devin. It was a painful journey. Happy Canada Day to you too, Stanley. This is coming along. Thank you, Red Sonia. A lot more realistic than my manga style, which the faces can be a lot more off, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and I am not in any way trying to diss on any other style, you know? Um, I, my whole start in, in art, <laughs> when I was really, like, getting interested in drawing and stuff in my, like, you know, youth, <laughs> I drew manga all the time. I, I'm heavily influenced by it. It's just in my comic art style, I've definitely gone a little bit more to the realistic. And then, yeah, you can't, you can't fuck with anatomy as much as you can get away with in other um, styles. But not dissing on anyone, I freaking love manga, anime, more cartoony style, more realistic style. There is a place for all. Behind her legs should be more chairs. Yes, I, that's what I was literally just talking about and explaining. <laughs> Unless you're a 15-year-old girl uploading dances, don't have a TikTok. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been informed. any unseen lady death covers that captain hasn't used whether they just didn't want it or they haven't gotten around to announcing it yet if not could that ever happen shelving art so far no that hasn't happened anything i mean sometimes they hold on to a cover for a really long time i thought anatomy was the only thing you can fuck with well you know within reason <laughs> feel that way age out but refuse to accept that they're now old it'll be a cold dose of reality therapy incoming <laughs> oh that's good i like that that's very funny <laughs> Everyone needs to calm down about the triangle. I just told you all that I was going to be working on it. I don't feel like it right now, though. <laughs> I'm bored of stone at the moment. So we're going to work on hmm, her. I'm going to work on her. Skin, quick, quick grab. <laughs> this triangle right here calm down <laughs> speaking of shelved art okay that is a shelved cover I have no idea what happened there I am not granted permission for prints on that so no kind of just died I don't know but the triangle god damn it <laughs> i see nothing but sexy leg and i have no problem with it awesome unnamed gent <laughs> all right now i'm going to do skin colors i'm going to turn off my little skin overlay right now um 
there's not really much for me to do on her skin though I may lighten it just because it's such a dark cover and I do want her to pop I may lighten the skin but right now what I want to do is her makeup for funsies because that's a nice palette cleanser for me <laughs> thank you Zane welcome to the stream can you use it in an art book in the future? Didn't I already? I feel like I did. Did I use it in Drawn 2? <laughs> uh, let me say makeup. Yay, thank you, Ron. I think the makeup, the, mm, I don't know how I'm going to do this. All right, but for now, we're going to do eyeshadow. Yeah, I've forgotten too, but I'm in shorts and I do not wish to stand up if I can avoid it. take a pretty dark orangey brown and then I'm going to get myself some kind of flecky shit maybe organic noise two no organic noise god damn it maybe organic noise one yes okay I don't know if this is going to be good I'm going to put it on Color Dodge. I'm going to put, let's see. All right, so I can't use that probably until the end. Let's see. Ooh, sparklies. Oh, thank you, What the Fan Art. That's really encouraging. Oh, you know, I go back and forth. Jin, what I did this time, some of my layers were named, some of them were not lamed. Lamed. <laughs> they were also not lamed. Um, and so I went in and named all of my layers before going live. <laughs> so that, you know, I would have that done. How do I request on makeup treatment for myself? <laughs> Just dancing girls anymore. Major players, Tony Hawk, artists and bands, and other professionals are using TikTok. Yeah, you're I'm sure you're right. Let's put it this way. I am a failure at social media in general. I don't I'm not I'm not gonna say that I never would because that probably isn't accurate but I, I struggle posting on Instagram once a day as it is like I, I find social media extremely intimidating so it's not exactly easy for me to just start up a new one I have to think about that very carefully social media takes like for me it takes me a while to post and then you know you need to keep engagement right so like Managing your social media account is like probably an hour or two job if you do a post because you've got multiple platforms to go respond, like, comment, thank, you know, all of that stuff. So it really isn't just, I don't know. I think that's why a lot of people will fucking hire it out because it's just, it can get to be too much real quick. Hello, Reed. Oh, thank you, Iron Twitch. All right, so something kind of like that. I'm not, I'm not 100% on the colors, but I like her having some sort of glam going on with the, the dark. I may actually erase the, the drippy charcoal that's coming down because that's really more... Uh, what I had for the main version. So here in a little bit more of a boudoir setting, I can't, I don't speak French. Um, 
I think that maybe I'm gonna get rid of those, but I'm, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna go a little bit more yellow now. No, that's too yellow. Ugh. Yeah, with all the platforms, it can be a struggle to deal with. I have a lot of problems with it. Yeah, for sure. God damn it, Rob. <laughs> Who else works 93 weeks on each DM? <laughs> I don't see my DMs. Please be aware of that, everyone. I know it's just a thing, so for sure it's funny. Um, but yeah, I do not answer DMs. And I didn't even see Juan's for 93 weeks. Because what it is, if, if I'm not following that person, which I, you know, I should just go follow Juan, or maybe I have already. I won't see it. It goes into, like, another folder. I don't see my DMs either. When I do see them, I ignore them. You're not alone, Dawn. Yay! Yeah, that's why people have social media correspondence. But then at the same time, when you start having somebody else answering your social media, that personal touch that you have with someone who writes and says, hey, you know, I got, um, I got the print. It arrived. I'm so happy. You know, someone posts and is like, I post some art and someone posts on this in social media and, and shows a picture of their wall and they have the art there. You know, a customer service rep person is not gonna be, I don't know, I just think that it's gonna ruin that connection and ruin that happiness that, you know, I get to have and the interaction I get to have with you guys. And if you take your time to comment on something I post, I will at least try to like on it or give you a hug heart situation. Oh, ice cream truck. Brilliance. Uh, I don't see my... Okay. I, I don't know if I follow you, Juan. It's a real fail. I guess we should fix that. A good social media person will send you a few comments for peace of mind. Abby, hello, welcome to the stream. I look at mine after the stream, which? <laughs> Eric Hart, hello and welcome. Ice cream trucks in the western states and western Canada must be making bank right now. We have never once had an ice cream truck on our street. Waving back! <laughs> Important con question if you scroll up. Oh yes, I did see that and then squirrel! I have seen your email, Summer. Thank you so much for telling me it was you. I couldn't put the connection. I didn't make the connection of who it was. So yes, I will be getting back to you right now. I am just in deadline mode and heat. <laughs> My brain is not functioning correctly. But um, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to get back on top of my email and I will be responding to you. Your email meant so much to me. Thank you, love. I just unwrapped my book so I can see. <laughs> um, yes, I, I have signed up for C2E2 and Emerald City Comic Con. So on Canada Day, Dawn decides to break my heart again. Juan, I am following you on Facebook. I just don't know if I'm following you on Instagram. Hold, please. I am following you. I didn't just do this following. I just went and checked. So now it won't be 93 weeks. It's 
<laughs> That's Dawn's secret. She's always in deadline mode. She will get back to you via email in 92 weeks. I did not just say that. Oh my god. I do have an Instagram. It's just my name. Alright. Yeah, I think I might erase the downturned thing just for this version. So I'm going to go into my line art. I want to get... Woo! Too far zoomed in. See you later, I and Twitch. Lies, Juan. Lies. Jeff, hello. Thank you. All right, let me get dry media brushes, clouds. Hmm. All right, let me see if I can just do a, I'm going to do a softer eraser. I'm just going to lighten some of this up a little bit, only because I don't think it's necessary for this version. I do like uh, that she's got some heavy eye makeup going on, but maybe these aren't necessary. It's part of the look of the main version, not this one. Dr. Gonzo, hello! I'm really digging the cutouts in her eyebrow. Thank you, Abby! Wow! So much free time, Tom. What are you going to do? Lenny! Oh my goodness, hello! How are you? Good to see you here. All right, Baron, yes, let's answer that question as far as how many books will I do. Um, I, I don't have a limit and, you know, I really want to stay at not charging for, um, for whatever it's called, for signatures. Um, the reason why people charge for signatures, in my opinion, is because you know, it costs a lot to get to a con, and if you're, you're not able to take sketches if you're spending all day signing books, right? Um, and so then literally it's just a very expensive situation, and if you're just there signing, you can't actually make back your expenses. Um, so I, um, but I would very much like to not charge. So I don't have a limit on how many books and I don't charge for, for signatures. Um, I would say be nice to me. <laughs> don't bring like a cart <laughs> or, or space them out. If you're going to be there for a couple days, maybe space them out so I don't spend an entire day when I probably have a couple people leaving the show that I have committed to get them their sketch. Um, so there's situations like that um, where it would just be easier that you not bring like a hundred books in one shot. Um, that being said though, if you need to, that is okay. Uh, just be on it with the bags and the boards. I will sign everything if you just put them back in the bags and the boards, take them out, all of that stuff. When, I, when I'm having to like do the bag and board service for everybody, I'm not a happy girl. That's where my diva comes out. <laughs> Get into trouble, absolutely. There will be a few carts at FiendFest, not many, but those, well, you see, I'm there at FiendFest for the purpose of signing books. 
that is a different situation. That Fiend Fest, I feel, is a little bit more like a convention slash store signing. That's different. Um, a con a full-on convention is the whole thing. Don't get scared by the notorious resting bitch face. That is correct. And also, everyone, please be in mind, or have this in mind, I only do sketches for people on my email list because I'm usually booked before I set foot at the show from my email list. So my email list gets first dibs on sketches that I'm taking for the convention and I'm usually booked up very quickly through my email list. So by the time I set foot on a sh at a convention, I'm already booked. Um, my my stipulations are that the you know they need to physically be there so it's not like it's just i'm sketching for my email list and they're not even patrons of that convention no they need to pick it up themselves but that being said uh if you've got something in mind that you're planning on me doing please please be on my email list and get it through there because i will not be able to take it for you at the show Interesting, Jay Allen. I don't want a sketch cover. I want a Don Doodle cover. <laughs> that is, uh, no, the, I don't have such a thing. You know, I get hundreds of people being like, oh, just draw a quick little doodle. That does not compute with my brain. Many people have tried, it doesn't work. <laughs> I do go to Salt Lake Fan X sometimes, yes. All down material for signing, like the pack companion from Is It Wrong to Drive? I don't know what that is, Zane. <laughs> what is my con sketch rate? Um, I, it really depends on um, what you want. So before the convention, about a week before the convention, I will send around an email with what kind of sketches I'm offering and basic examples and how much they cost. <laughs> Have Dan there to doodle for you. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. And you know, one of these days, Dan will be able to come and help me at conventions. Right now though, we have no family here. Um, and so when I leave, Dan needs to stay with the kids. But, you know, they're getting older. Yes, that's right. Carmen says, get on her email list. There are always examples. So whatever I'm offering, I will show you examples so that you kind of know what you're getting into. Can't I just set it on your right side? Can you can doodle it between signings just to keep you busy? Oh, <laughs> persistent much. <laughs> Do you have a list of cons you may be going to this year assuming normal travel? I should get going on that, Devin. Literally everyone, just so you know, as soon as I'm done with this particular cover run, organization will be pouring into this household cleanliness print runs organization scheduling <laughs> perhaps a hair wash <laughs> Dawn needs to post prices for a booty doodle cover. Well, you know, I'm really thinking about changing my whole convention sketch offerings. Um, there is something that is, you know, definitely kicking around in my brain as far as, you know, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. And I'm really, I'm, I'm thinking it, thinking about it right now. Oh yeah, I, I figured as much, Baron. 
No worries at all. <laughs> Believe me though, I have had many people tell me that and they were serious. <laughs> For sure no Fanex in September. I was honestly, I, I could have probably and perhaps should have scheduled some conventions in September, but I honestly feel unsure how free we're going to be to go through the borders. Uh, all things are a green light right now, and so, you know, I only booked with uh, Kansas City because I do know the convention owner. He is amazing. Chris Jackson who had JP Roth and I on Planet Comic Con's um, Facebook channel a couple times for interviews and I he was aware of my border crossing situation So with him I felt confident that if I had to bail there was going to be no hard feelings, you know um, Not saying that anybody else would have hard feelings, but that's why I didn't you know proactively start booking conventions in September. So that's why I'm not really going to any. Another print of the month and no wonder booty to be found. Tom, it's because I'm busy soon. Oh, I think a lot of artists do. I've gone to Fanex many times and it's an awesome show. I just, um, didn't sign up for anything this year because I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I did buy the cover with the idea of you just doodling, but also have a Hell Witch Chapter 3 cover from you. Nice. Well, you know what? I'm, I still haven't figured out my convention sketch format for right now. For many years, I have taken these, like, convention sketches that then end up being turned into covers. And... You know, then I'm spending all of my time on one person's sketch. And you guys know I have no brake pedal, so regardless, I'm probably going to have a difficult time getting lots of them done, but I kind of feel like I'd rather do more sketches and maybe just do more head sketches or something like that. So we'll see. <laughs> do you like the wonder butt on the sideshow? Yay, Jen. Thank you. So most cons after that should be safe to travel to. Yes, you're absolutely right. I just uh, didn't quite think that would happen so quickly. So it's all good news. I just am a little behind. And won't be traveling quite yet. But you know what? It's for the best. We've got one kid going into uni again. Um, so... And then the other one's starting school here. So kind of Dan and I need to be here anyway for the start of the school year. And next year we're going to have two kids going to uni. And if they decide to go in two completely different places, which I'm sure is probably going to happen, that's going to be an interesting first day of school. <laughs> Did I go full dawn mode? Oops. Let's get a slightly darker color here. Oh, on commissions. <laughs> well, thank you, love. That's very nice of you. Oh, I know, Jay Allen. Yeah, we're going to have two kids in uni at the same time and then one in middle school while the other two are in uni. <laughs> so we're going to be, there's two of us and we may potentially next year have three different like actual physical cities to be at. How the fuck are we going to do it? <laughs> Oh, I had 
have no problem with that, Devin. For me, it's honestly just I don't want to have to stay in a hotel. I want to be home. It's, I'm like, you know, the drive home from the airport is already too long for me. I want to see my kids. I want to see Dan. The thought of having to stay in a hotel for two days is just like, nah, -uh. <laughs> not doing it. Con sketches like the Goblin Queen. Aw, thank you. Rocks, hello, hello. How are you doing? Are you in the middle of a heat wave as well? Are we all in a heat wave? That's actually a really great suggestion, J. Allen. <laughs> Finally got a status update. Carol streams to the Chicago only 25 days. Oh my god, what the fan art. I am so sorry. You just broke your heat wave, but it's still too freaking hot. Yeah, tomorrow I think our heat wave is going to start breaking as well, um, which I'm looking forward to. Happy, happy times. Still, I'm, I'm very sorry. You live in Canada, right? What the fan art? Sorry, Summer. Are you not able to post? So much love to you. Yeah, so I, um... With, with uh, getting things into Canada, um, US, USPS is the one that, you know, comes through Canada Post and whatever, but uh, if we did UPS, it would be cheaper for me to ship all the things, because I do free shipping to Canada over $50. It would, A, be cheaper for me, you would get it faster, but then your import duties and taxes would be through the fucking roof. So that's why I use USPS and not UPS. Um, so USPS is going to take longer. It costs more, believe it or not. And for, I guess, the size of package that we do. And it takes forever to reach you. But at least on your end, you're not getting those UPS import duties and fees, which can be so aggressive. Um, so that's why I keep, I'm sticking with USPS. No heat wave, flash floods. Damn. Heat wave in Phoenix breaks around October. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a month. God, I'm so sorry, Devin. Truly, you guys, I really am sorry. I shipped a survival box to Boopley and it was like 70 via FedEx. Yeah. And so if I do free shipping over $50 for a box that has, you know, art books in it and all of that stuff, I'm literally like <laughs> giving away product and paying aggressive bills. It's not cheap to ship to Canada. All right, I'm gonna start working on some of the blue, um, the blue 
rim lights. I want that on her body. I want that on, um, on the cloth here. So we're going to start working on that for a while. Select all the cloth. I'll do the cloth first and then I'll go to her. I'll work on the, um, on her skin and all that. Still paying off import taxes from the fish I sent Dawn in 2019. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, everybody. Well, everyone on the Canadian side of the border. <laughs> You're welcome, Tom. It's the least I can do for you. All right, so this is the blue color that I, this is my little blue swatch down here. These are all my swatches, it's how I work. Um, if I find a color that I'm liking for something, especially if I'm going with a color theme, uh, which in this case I pretty much am, um, I, uh, I definitely find it helpful to do those little swatches because the colors can get all murky with one another. So this works out well for me. Let's take the opacity down and hardness down. Yeah, but you know, it's not cheap to have two warehouses. I think that would cancel anything out. this up a little bit is that gonna be in your guys's way I'm just finding I'm having some glare issues damn it's being all bright and strange sorry hi just need to turn that a little bit That is a very kind offer, Adam. Our afternoon sunshiny glow is very pleasant to be in, but it does um, make my camera have some weird issues. <laughs> I'm all, all of a sudden like glowing and I don't care for glow on myself. Alright, I'm just turning it up a little bit like this so that I'm not getting the sunshine glare on my monitor so now I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better. Alright, yes, I'm working on the cloth now. I just totally lost my place, couldn't remember what I was doing. So I want some blue rim light over here. I think that that will be helpful and some here so I'll change the color hold in a few places so that it um, it's not this like super warm that will be helpful and some here so I'll change the color hold in a few places so that it um, it's not this like super warm brown color hold and then blue um, possibly, Abby. I haven't really worked on the clothing completely yet. Um, it, I, I keep going back and forth about it, so probably what's going to happen is I'm going to try it and see how it looks. Theoretically, though, I think that the possibilities are high that it'll have some sparkle and kapow. <laughs> That window with you and your screen is literally <laughs> fair enough.
love sparkle? Well, that's good to know. That's a, a vote for the sparkle direction. I will remember that. Now I'm just going to actually paint in a little bit of blue all along here because I want the cover to slowly be going in the cooler tones as it goes down into the base of the picture. So we're just kind of doing a bit of a blue um, side light there, which I'm kind of liking. I think, I think it works to kind of calm down the colors. Painted Dreams, welcome to the stream. Oh, it's shout out time. It will, Devin. It's going to be red on the main version, and then uh, I'm going with gold for this one just to switch it up. Okay, J.R. Hill, thank you so much for the order. I'm not sure if you're on the live stream, but thank you so much for your support. Got a mermaid print, Sabine Wren, and both versions of the Tay Collar print. Thank you so much. I hope everything reaches you quickly and soon. Really appreciate the support. And to everybody else that ordered earlier on today during the new print of the month launch, thank you all so much. <laughs> I like that, Painted Dreams. Gareth, hello, welcome to the stream. I don't know if I like the blue side light here. I might just remove some of that and only have it in a couple places that works for me so that it's not like mega saturated all over but it looks like it's the gold is having a calming down moment over here just needs to calm down not be quite so intense And what's handy, um, I think, about like cold, um, cold lights in the shadows is actually you can give something more depth by putting this like blue shadow or blue tone right here without actually going to a darker color. Like that helps with like the ink and the general cover not turning too dark but then it just gives it that extra punch of depth I think Did you get my order notification? Oh yeah, you didn't because there's no Wonder Booty available on your site. I have every intention of doing a, a Wonder Booty reboot unless either I will just reissue that old one or redo it and make a new one. <laughs> Soon, in time, I really need to get my ass moving on Prince of the Month. I am quickly running out. Yes, Dan is cooking tonight, Philip. <clears throat> it's Canada Day here, so they're not going, him and Lyndon aren't going out to Lyndon's class and Dan's gym time. They're 
staying home today. And this weekend is going to be really fun. I'm so excited about it. Oh, I know, Tom. <laughs> I have one problem with Dawn's store. I own all her art books. Aw, Painted Dreams. Thank you. Um, I Right now, I'm kind of using the Art of Divinica art books as my art books for this year. Um, I need to discuss with Dan about when I should do another art book of my my own art that not Divinica art, right? Um, and I've been kind of thinking that my next art book should literally just be um, all my risque covers. So I've never actually put any risque art in my art books because I was saving them to do uh, a book on their own with that. So I might just do that. I have to see. What the heck am I supposed to do? Hold them. Wait, Tom. We will come up with good things. <laughs> I'm glad you have Sherbox. Oh, yes, Rox? Naughty book sounds interesting. Yay! Is this one of is the dress blue or gold moments? I don't know what you're referring to. All right, so this is with the blue rim light and that is without. Maybe I went a little intense on this part right here. Might be unnecessarily blue. It should just be a hint, not a hit you in the face with blue, blue. <laughs> Rake was supposed to do an art book with all his risque art in it, but he's been slacking on that. He must be just so busy. But yeah, I'm thinking I'll do that. You're walking yourself to the corner. Good, good. <laughs> Storing up sure bucks for the next print I don't have showing up. <laughs> that's not Divinica stuff for a minute still just because I want to make sure we've fulfilled the Divinica Kickstarter all of that is done and then maybe I will start thinking about that David thank you <laughs> you did show up during the boobies conversation Summer sure bucks are uh, kind of like the point system that I have on my website. Oops. 
movie art book with embossed cover. Think of the hours of fun we'd have fun <laughs> trying to balance the book on the coffee table. I love that idea, Tom. I kind of think I have a fun idea for what I would want to do on the cover for that one. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it if it works out might be kind of tricky, but worth it. Wow, we got a raid. Welcome raiders. Thank you so much. Welcome to my channel. Let's go see who raided. I need to go open my Twitch. I'm in uh, Streamlabs right now, so just opening my Twitch channel to see who raided us. Thank you. So who raided? Was it Ocean Jamie? Lance, speaking of your side, just wanted to let you know. Oh, uh, thank you so much for your support, Lance, and I'm so happy that they arrived safely. Catherine TG was the raid leader. Ah, okay. Thank you so much, Zane. I'm going to go take a look at Catherine TG's page. Catherine TG. I'm going to go look her up. Twitch. And Catherine TG. All right, I'm taking a look at Catherine's channel. Very cool. Rhino and honeycombs, rainbows for earrings and keychains. Sweet. Oh, I love your art. All right, gave you a follow. Thank you so much for the raid. It's great to have you here, Catherine. Oh, thank you, Rox, for saying that. Yes, please post your links. Variant covers in multiple cup sizes. <laughs> ah, the catch, my dear wonderful friends, about printing hardback art books, which I've started with hardback art books, I will carry on with hardback art books, is that doing cover changes is literally so fucking expensive. Like we really went to town on the Divinica art book Kickstarter, but you know, we're definitely paying for it. So I don't think I would do it again, that's for sure. Oh, Dr. Dark, hello, hello. Mr. E, welcome home. Jay, welcome. Thank you. we paid for it oh absolutely of course we're we're doing all of those things for sure <laughs> we'll pay for it again on the booby book <laughs> oh are you sure you know it's one thing to get variant comic books the comic book is not as heavy as an art book when you start getting variants in art books the weight really starts to you know be a whole thing 
Oh, I will hold the pen and stream soon, you guys. I promise. It's literally, as soon as I'm done with this cover, I'm going to get my life organized and plan the pen and stream. That's right, Dr. Dark. This is the naughty version. It's just that I'm not... I haven't put her nips on there yet, just so that I can go live with it. <laughs> for real, Tom? Hit hip hooray! I'll feel like I truly successed in life if, if I get you to break that rule. <laughs> they were backed up on getting quarters. They're a week behind on just our orders. Oh my god, sorry, Mr. E. David, hello! Oops. God damn it. Slipcase cover for the booby book, please. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so do you guys like the slipcase concept? Oh, always, Red Sonia. Always, always. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I, I once, once the, uh, the, the books, the Divinica art books reach you guys. I really want to hear what you guys think about them. We really went all out. So right now, um, I think a bunch of the other items are being printed and then I just did final uh, checks on the, the UV coats and the end sheets. Um, and what else did I do? Yeah, the UV coats and the end sheets because they wanted to make sure those were all in the right place. So I just gave a final approval on those literally right before going live. So the print run is happening. I'm an impressionable young man and don't want the distraction sitting on my coffee table. I may forget that I have a TV and just read the booby book. <laughs> ah, so that's why you want a slipcase. Well, then a dust jacket would work too. Oh, so Rox likes the slipcases too. <laughs> And are you guys wanting a slipcase just to cover the boobies? Because there are other ways that that can be done. Oh my goodness, I have not been seeing the chats because I needed to scroll down. Yikes. All right, I always like a protective case, so everything I do is fine. Just want to draw. That's right. The booby book will be soft cover, soft but firm. <laughs> Love having slip cases for coffee table art books. All right, let me start saving some of these. You guys, <laughs> I must have had my scroll not scrolling. So I've been missing comments and I was like, wow, so no one's really talking right now. All right, slipcase reveals the art in a pow way. 
Sherlock's paws could cover the boob the boobies, I think, Twitch. Yes, it's Twitch and Facebook. My rant is it's the entire Vegas reason that's being affected by lacks of pickers and drivers. Senior management is picking and pulling product. It truly sucks. And rant. Sorry, Mr. E. Slipcase reveals the art in a pow way. It's an artwork bonus. Interesting. It's really good to hear your guys' opinions on slipcases. Compared to slip covers, it's also a nice unpacking experience to slip the book out and look at it. No dust jacket. Dust jackets are still t are too fragile. Okay. Well, I'm really glad for all this feedback, you guys. At least, you know, so everybody knows, the dust jackets that we did for Divinica are twice as thick as the usual dust jackets because we didn't want them to be so fragile. So, fingers crossed. Hopefully it's going to be good. See, that's what I've been planning, uh, Rob. I've had that in my mind for years, that that's what I want to do. <laughs> Jin, uh, look that up. Just type in dust jacket and slipcase for book. Um... I'm always scared to rip or damage dust jackets on books. Yeah, Rob, literally what you said right here is what I've been planning for so long. God damn it. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Robert, this is the alternate version. You did not get in trouble. Kelvin, hello. Welcome to the stream. Anika Crit, um, I honestly don't have an answer for you on that. I believe that Photoshop was made for um, actual art. I think that um, Illustrator, though I never really use it myself, was made more for vector stuff and for a different type of art. So the art that I do, um, Photoshop works for me. It's potato and potato between Photoshop and Illustrator. So maybe it's just a personal preference thing. I honestly don't think that Illustrator does what I need. So I think they are two, ah! I think they're two completely different programs that you work with differently. I like potatoes. All right, everybody else is answering this one, which is awesome uh, because I don't actually know how to use Illustrator. And the, the couple times I tried it for art, it felt like more vector art. Okay, let's try adding the gold into her uh, outfit. So I haven't done that yet. I'm, I'm honestly, I've just been kind of like, I don't really know exactly what my vision is with that. But here we go. Oh, 
Oh, good, good point, Jeff. Saving. Oh, I must have just saved because it's doing nothing when I save. File. Yeah, I must have done it uh, without thinking. But thank you, Jeff. Don't get me wrong, you can do amazing technical work with Illustrator, but it's different aesthetic. Yeah, and it has much more in-depth ways that A, you can do vector from what I understand, B, you can actually like design books and you know do fancy lettering and all of that stuff. It specializes in printed, written with photos media, in my opinion. Photoshop is really for pictures and artwork, but I could be wrong. Oh, thank you, Abby. Good evening. Thank you, Alan. Welcome to the stream. Illustrator is for graphic art. Photoshop and Clip Studio is for organic art, freestyle, textured, naturalistic. Thank you, What the Fan Art. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time, and I literally can't, um, can't properly get the words out. You did that so much better than me. Well done. <laughs> yes, it is a habit. It's been many years with many hours of lost work and wasted time when my computer crashes. It is really wonderful that as the world progresses, computers are less prone to crashing. Yeah, Tom, the coloring on that cover is second to none. That is so fucking good. When Eric posted the little tiny piece, I took, I like looked at it and I was like, that's Sabine. I was happy to see I was right. Well, Anayik, is that how you say it? No, Anayak? Um, Anayaka? You honestly don't have to work in Photoshop if you don't want to. Like, if you've got Illustrator going and you like Illustrator, well then by all means carry on with Illustrator, you know? Um, I would only switch if Illustrator is not fully meeting your artistic needs, so it just really depends. And like everyone said, Clip Studio Paint is probably, in my opinion, the closest second to Photoshop. So I've tried Procreate and I've tried Clip Studio Paint. Um, I use Cl uh, Procreate for its, <laughs> literally for one purpose, and that was to get vanishing points that I could move around. It had a decent perspective grid situation. Uh, Dawn struggles with English. <laughs> All right, so I need lost artwork. Yes, I have lost artwork. I've seen the true digital art masters simulate not only the different paint textures, even the canvas textures. Yeah, it's insane. It's almost highway robbery to get that cover for only 20. Which 20? What? So I need some advice. eBay seller just asked my... I have no idea, like, well, I don't even really know what's going on. <laughs> it is almost highway robbery. Is that cover for 20 bucks, Tom? <laughs> oh, that is so funny, Rob. Finds all digital art harder. Getting crayon off a monitor is a bitch. <laughs> Crit is fine, okay. Nice! The Ebass cover is only 20 on the Comics Elite site. It is so beautiful. I literally can't even on how pretty that cover is. Mind fucking blown. You know, Eric, it's, it's just, it's amazing. He is such a good artist. It really bums me out sometimes. It's like such a good artist, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> I 
I use Illustrator all the time and just learning Photoshop I can say that for drawing and brushes Photoshop is the one to use no, yeah okay that's awesome was I going to be doing right now? Oh, yes. Yes, we're talking about Eric's Red Sonia cover. Fucking amazing. All right, now, whoops, whoops. I'm going to do the metal outfit color. So I've got that on its own layer. The reason being that I am trying to preserve her skin for the main version. So actually, there is nothing on her skin. Her skin is on its own layer by itself. Nothing is actually painted on there so that the not, when I'm done with this one, I can take this over to the other cover and not have to repaint portions of her skin. Saves me so much time and frustration. So uh, the, the only thing I'm gonna have to repaint, unfortunately, is her boobs. Because this is not a, as supportive a top as the other one is. So her boob shape is different on this one. Fuck my life. But it makes the cover more interesting. And she's not really, this is a sheer covering thing. And as such, you know, gravity. <laughs> it, it works differently when you were wearing a metal bra and when you were wearing no bra. Weren't you going to work on the triangle? No, fuck the triangle. God damn it, you guys. <laughs> I know. My sudden outburst of rage was really not appropriate for the situation, and that's because I'm not actually angry. <laughs> yeah, it, it saves so much time, especially when you have to do it twice. You know? Like... Patches are so annoying. <laughs> nah, fuck the triangle. <laughs> All right. So Let's see what we're going to do. I've had many thoughts about this, this metal piece and how I'm actually going to even turn it into something um, that looks remotely of interest to anyone. And uh, truth be told, I have no fucking clue. So uh, we're going to wing it and see how this turns out. So if we get 500 F-bombs, does that mean that CornerCon will be a 12-hour stream? Oh, good lord. I don't know, man. That's really tough. What triangle? It's this little triangle between both of her knees right here that I need to actually finish out the chair. I just straight up forgot about it. Since I can't draw worth a lick, I'm glad I found make human to create my bodies. When I use GIMP for my coloring, costume design, and editing, it gives me something to do to keep my good mental spit state. Oh, that's awesome, Alan. I'm so in love with the metal pieces, serious about the Louis Royal feel. Oh, thank you. At least the stream conversation is staying somewhat centered around a topic. Tonight it seems to be boobies. Well, you know, boobies is always the best idea, so, you know. The triangle that shall be forever fucked. <laughs> Prepare.
preparing all the coffee. Yes, I'm going to need coffee and cookies and candy. And not like gross candy, like actually yummy candy. None of this like yucky shit. Hmm. Interesting point, Dr. Doc Dark. Maybe I should move up that skull or something. Can't exactly move her hand right now. Uh, good old five cups of coffee a day, just like me. White monsters and Cheez-Its. Yes, all of the above. Sounds good. In movies we trust. Well, no, this like every hundred F-bombs was not a promise I made. Just FYI, everybody. I kind of have, you know, a small sense of realism every so often brilliant strikes and i am a realistic individual and there's no way in hell i can do a penance stream every hundred um every hundred f-bombs especially the way i like to roll them out See you later, Stanley. Happy Canada Day to you, too. F bombs don't roll, they fly. <laughs> Well put, unnamed gent. But she does gives us, give us sneak peeks like new movie trailers. I'll pick it. Must stop messing with it. Oh man, I hear you. It's rough. Possibly a little bit, Jin. I'm personally very okay with that. I haven't considered doing that, Jay Allen. Yeah, I'm telling you, if I didn't have deadlines, I would literally just keep messing with pieces probably forever. So deadlines are literally is, you know, what declare that I have to call it. <laughs> like, okay, deadline is here. I need to be finished. Even, you know, well, I guess I would kind of call it quits on some things because I do set my own deadlines. But, you know, I have to just move on and get to the next project. Uh, 
I'm wondering how many of us are getting the Ebass Red Sonya cover. While looking at it, the box kept popping up. Someone from XX and YY just scored one of these in the corner. Oh, I'm sure it is going like hotcakes. Unnamed gent, comic book men and women are meant to have idealized bodies. It's because of comic books I worked out for three months straight and got jacked just to cosplay as a shirtless iron fist with a dragon on my chest. See? Comics are supporting fitness. <laughs> Go comics! <laughs> yes, Dan is cooking tonight. Oh, Abby, it, I'm sure everything, I mean, maybe something is happening somewhere, but we live right on, on a hill above a uh, highway. And so we get a lot of like highway noise. Just got your eBass cover. Hooray, Juan! out copying the Hugh Jackman Wolverine workout. Nice! That is so awesome! <laughs> Except for female characters where we get where are her organs. They're in there. Some people have small organs. Calm down. <laughs> Aw, Tom, you're such a sweetheart. I'm not sure, Keeman. I think it might be pork and Pita, maybe? <laughs> Finding a print shop to print them and then set a price to sell them. Figure as so long there's no copyright. Yep, that should be, there shouldn't be a problem. And even though my weight limit increased, my arm size never did. Interesting, Baron. I just not think... I just not think it's used the best way all the time. Like, I use it sometimes for story reasons. Oh, people that freak out about the organ thing need to Google corset life and check out just what the human body can do. I'm, yeah, big time. Also, the Blood Axe ink cover for me looks amazing. Thank you, Zane. Erica, the, the, Carmen uh, posted on Eric's uh, page, Ebass's page, and was like, ooh, I'm going to get this cover so I can pair it with Dawn, so the, the butt and axe one you're talking about. And I was like, yay, we can have, you know, the front and back cover set, because that's what someone said they're planning to do, to get it from uh, Comics Elite. And I'm like, it's so weird for me that I did the butt shot cover <laughs> for this one. And so we have decided, Eric said that it is an alternate universe right now where I drew the booty shot and I need to say go ass. So this is my alternate universe go ass moment. I did the same once. Then I sat down with a case of wine to actually read my backlog of comics. Show so much for my fitness gains. <laughs> the where are her or organs have been disproven so much by actual women who have those same bodies and caption, I'm a real woman and I have all my organs. Exactly. You have awakened everyone's fitness goals. That's always a good thing. Looks amazing as in I got it to Zane. Thank you, truly, yay. Thank you, demigod. Several of us have goals. We're just delaying our timeline. <laughs> I turned to Syl and said, how does she got? Huh. Well, I need to go find one of those picture frames that can spin 
so I can display both at once back to back. Aw, thank you so much, Zane. That's actually a really, really good idea, Devin. I will, uh, I'm going to copy and paste that and suggest it to Dan. I also saved a bunch of comments that you guys did about book covers. Oh, and now the sun is gone and everything is dark. Let me fix that. Let's say hello to everyone. Hello! <laughs> there we go. The demon lady I'm working on is something I created 20 years ago, and then along comes Polito and says, oh, <laughs> sorry, Dr. Dark. It is a really good drawing. Like, that is super freaking impressive. To do all of that, you know, those are some very difficult angles and poses, and like, damn. You have a good style. I like it. Hello, Thunder Sky. All right, let's get some shine going on. the fan art my red Sonya print no I don't think it's available on my site I don't know cosplay is one of the best excuses to get fit it worked for me find a fit hero you admire and try and actually mimic their body give yourself realistic goals and give yourself at least two to three months I would like need two to three, maybe four years. I think the main thing is just kind of, I, I don't like working out for a lot of time. So I work out like for between 15 and 30 minutes a day. And that's all I have the patience to give toward exercise. <laughs> just eat a lot of protein. I do intermittent fasting. I hate protein, but. I'm trying to do better with it and I eat it at lunchtime <laughs> but yeah the um, I do intermittent fasting I work out five days a week um, and my workouts are about 15 to 30 minutes long that's it and I just do weights I don't do cardio fuck cardio <laughs> I'm always insecure about my skills it's been a biatch to draw but I wanted to go all out and see how far I can push myself <laughs> oh, you do intermittent fasting as well? Nice! Just hit me with a tiniest bit of her gold eyeshadow. I don't know. I might... I might consider it, Jay Allen. I'm not a huge uh, glittery lipstick person. And so very much my... Uh, what I like and dislike in makeup is featured quite heavily on characters that I work on uh, and there's some things I just don't care for um, but I will think about it I didn't care for that either 
I kind of work out, but I enjoy beer too much. <laughs> I think you only need like two or three months and unless you really want to bulk up yeah see i'm i'm different um i'm you know i'm not trying to actually build that much muscle i'm just trying as a 40 plus year old individual to not lose any muscle so it's i know that i'm a different situation well done, Devin. I fast between lunch and dinner and then dinner and breakfast all the time. <laughs> uh, Abby says, I have a friend who was a pro bodybuilder. Ooh, and she's been dragging me to the gym because I don't have gym anxiety. <laughs> That's awesome that you're going though, Abby. Well done. 12 ounce curls, Juan. <laughs> And Dawn has an abnormally strong bond with the red she uses on Lady Death, Death's lips. It's a deep emotional bond. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, I could go on for quite a while on the hues of red and which ones should be used for lipstick and which ones should not. I'm on two hour feedings. <laughs> Like Nacho Libre, I want a hot body, but I also want tacos. <laughs> when I need to lift heavy weights, I were order two dozen donuts on the way to work. <laughs> Don just wants the strength to get... No, I... Oh. This is not my fault. As I've said, I barely exercise. I, Quan says I need strength to carry my guns. <laughs> I just have gangly arms. I need to test out that advice. I've just been super slack with workouts after busting my, oh yeah, you really busted your leg. Whined about it lots. I really feel like finally back to normal in the past two or three months. Yeah, you busted your leg something fierce, Jason. I completely forgot about that. How are you doing? Like, you're saying you're completely back to normal. Part of Corner Con should be a red TED Talk. Yes, I will give you guys a lecture on red. Stronger arms are needed to tactical critical emergencies like lost art triangles. <laughs> oh, I know you're, you're joking, Juan. Don't worry about it. I, um, yes. It's also, I'm hoping, going to help me a little bit for conventions once I have to carry my print box, which is really aggressively heavy. Okay. Time to get some contrast going on in here so that it starts looking like actual metal. Because it still doesn't look like actual metal, in my opinion. We're going to bring out some of the highlights. We're going to make the, the pointy part that's pointing right at her boobies to be like, kapow! Look! Long healing recovery, almost a full year on and still not completely back to normal, but close enough. I already realize I'm in an age bracket that's just going to be slower to heal. Yeah, I'm getting there. My sprained ankle still feels weird. Cleavage spike. I wish I joined the last four live streams just in high... Oh no, Wit! I'm so sorry, that sucks! It's probably because your schedule has changed or something like that, so you can't make it at what previously used to be regular time. It's so good to see you, Mitt. No, Wit. Just have one of your minions to help you at a con, yeah. Carry stuff at the con table. Could we sneak some bo bonus noodling onto a sketch? That is possible, yes. Good night, Dawn. 
The true fireworks. Aw. You're so sweet with the fan art. Have a good evening. Happy Canada Day. I hurt my back, so I stopped working out for a year, and I'm getting back into it. Well, you know, that's really the key, is just getting back into it. I am not a fitness guru. I should really shut up right now, but just want to say mad props for getting back to it. I'll probably to do like a little bit of a glow layer over some of the um, over some of this gold, you know, just pop out a few little pieces, make them really shine. But I do want them to look like flat, flat pieces more than like as if they were little tubes or something. I think it just has a little bit more of a classy appearance if they look flatter and not bubbly. So that's why I kept kind of doing shadows and then it looks like they're too thick you know and i don't want this to look like noodles i want it to look like some sort of really cool metal thing you know so I, that's why i'm trying i keep like doing stuff and then erasing because i'm like it's giving it the wrong form and i don't want to mess with the form juan sent himself to the corner though so he just knows how to how to handle himself now. Progress. <laughs> yes, Dan is the guru. Dawn is the opposite. No truer words have been spoken, Juan. I am the whiner and the complainer that doesn't want to work out. I actually declared this week a non-workout week. I said it's too hot. I am uncomfortable. Uh, heat makes me really sluggish and I don't want to exercise. So I just said, I give up my ramen this weekend, I won't exercise. <laughs> I almost feel like one of those prongs on the right leg pulls out and becomes a dagger. Is that good or bad? That's that completely true, Kadiro. I do not want to work out, but I want my ramen. It is a conundrum. So I decided I didn't want to work out more than I wanted my ramen this week. So I have d declared myself to not get any ramen this week, which is going to be sad, I'm sure. Come Saturday, I may regret my choices. <laughs> but no ramen for Dawn this week. Jose, hello. It's good. Just the backstory for the costume. Nice. I think they're starting to pop a little bit more. It's getting a little bit more of that gold feel. I'm also happy that they look flat. I want them to look like they're maybe about, I don't know, a quarter of a centimeter. No. Yeah, a quarter, between a quarter of a centimeter and maybe half a centimeter at the thickest point is sort of how thick I want them to, to be. So I'm, I'm happy with how it's going right now. Alan, had ramen for lunch. Nice. Love me my ramen so, so, so much. But I also love me my chair. And I didn't, I didn't want to get out of my chair today or this week. I was like, it is too fucking hot. Some things just cannot be born. 
and working out in the garage when it is this hot is just not happening in my life. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> I met Nia and Rufino for the first time last Sunday. Ooh, cool! That is so awesome, Jeremy, man. Yay! It's all about the girth. <laughs> I guess it kind of is. Nia is awesome. Love Nia so much. Ah, shit. And I need to do more to make her um, outfit, like her actual sheer cloth, look more sheer, I think. So in order to do that, I just need to have more places that are, you know, brighter whites, more shadows. Like I think here it's starting to look like sheer cloth. So I just need to do that in more places. minutes until dinner time I'm kind of excited not gonna lie I am hungry well Rob love to you summer T minus seven minutes. Woo. I kind of want them to glow a little bit more. <clears throat> I keep being on the fence if I should make them lighter or darker, but I think what we need here is contrast. I think. Um, as opposed to me um, trying to make them darker and kind of fit with the rest of the image, I do want them to pop. It is, oh, Secret Life of Cows. <laughs> color dodge is definitely something I use, but I'll be doing that at the end. I do all of the color dodge on a different layer. Maleficent, yay, I'm glad the Lady Death is your favorite. Okay, I'm gonna give this a quick, quick save. I wanna do a rough, just while we're here, we have a couple minutes left. I'd like to just get a little bit more shades going on on her cloth. So that is with fully black. And I'm going to do 
pretty soft. And I'm gonna take the opacity way down. It is dripping blood on the background, so I'm not completely done with the background yet, but yeah, I'm getting there. So I really think the thing with black nylon stockings is that they are very, like they go really dark on the edging and then they get lighter on the rest of the body. So that's kind of how you can tell if someone's wearing black, like you, your mind registers it before you even think about it that you know someone is wearing stockings and the way that you know that they're stockings and not tight is how they look over the the skin right and to me it all comes down to you know the sheerness but what makes it look sheer is that in some areas it looks very thin and in other places it looks more dense and opaque um, and that's always on the outer edges So I need to put highlights in this leg, which I have not done yet. See you later, Jeff. Have a good night. Lots of love to Lori. And then I'm probably going to put some sparkly shit in this cloth because I may not be able to help myself. That's one thing Illustrator is amazing at, creating gradients, yeah. Oh yay, Jin. So what I did in order to make the, the starting point for the nylon is I uh, filled the, this whole part of her, like her whole outfit with actually fully black, fully black, um, flats. I basically just filled it 100% with black on the areas that were the cloth. And then I just took the opacity way down. So now all I have to do is just go in and add black to the edges or wherever I think, um, it would be darker and so I'm just doing that with a low opacity fully black airbrush as well and like I think her toes for instance you know when uh, when you're wearing stockings your your feet are smaller than say your butt or your upper thigh so the, the material is less stretched over your feet so when you're wearing stockings, your feet are pretty much almost covered completely in opaque cloth, which I don't want to do because I'm trying to prove a point that I can draw toes. <laughs> and so uh, maybe I'll, you know, let my ego have her foot a little more visible. Because, <laughs> you know, one's got to do what they've got to do. <laughs> Scary when the feet are bigger than the butt. Yes. Speaking of airbrush, when are you ta tackling that new method? Soon, hopefully. Maybe I can do that during my corner stream or corner con. Uh, you know, work on something embarrassing like that, which I've never done before. I like. I have a plan for how I can probably make it kind of funny and embarrassing. So you know, maybe I'll do that. So I'm going to need to do something that's going to separate her arm from her boob because this looks like too continuous. So those are things I'll have to work with. Can draw toes. Triangles, not so much. God damn it. Give me a break. <laughs> All right. Final save for the night. Not sticking to realism just to prove a point. Also that. Why not? <laughs> All right, I had so much fun hanging out with you guys tonight. You guys are awesome. Summer, I'm sorry that all you can post is emotes. That's gotta be really frustrating. 
<laughs> it is dinner time. I feel like Yzma when she says, it's dinner time. So happy. I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and I will catch you on Sunday to wrap up the main version. So this should definitely be done by, uh, by Sunday. Um, thank you all so much to those of you who have gotten some of the prints off of my website for the new print of the month. You rock. I love you. I hope you have a good evening and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for making sitting in a hot room and coloring away so pleasurable and fun. You guys are the best. I love you. I'm glad you were able to catch the stream hall winner. Welcome. Thank you, Red Sonia. So much love to all of you. Have a wonderful evening. Big hugs and kisses, and I'll see you Sunday.